know, uh, looking at Amcon, of, of course, a lot of talk, a lot of noise surrounding uh, this company and when it is going to start coming into effect. We know that uh, there's a lot of talk about whether the Senate has approved the board. What is the update? Um, well, um, thanks, Elena. Um, the approval of the board and the confirmation was actually tabled for today's meeting at the Senate, but the Senate adjourned early. We expect it to be done on Tuesday. Um, and as I've explained earlier, we've done all the groundwork, all the valuations have been completed. We do expect that immediately we have an announcement. Uh, the board will meet and confirm purchase of um, non-performing loans uh, from the affected banks. And we do think settlement should be by the end of November. So uh, we've made a lot of progress on that area. So when can we expect AMCON to be uh, in full force, essentially? Uh, do you expect this to happen by the end of the year? I think I'm calling will be in full force from day number one in the, in the sense that as soon as the board is confirmed, they will, I mean, one of the first things they will do is actually conclude the major transaction, which is clean up the NPLs in the bank. And that is going to be almost immediate. So the market is going to get good news very soon. Fantastic. So in other words, next week, that's great news, uh, Governor Sanusi. Let's touch on Union Bank, also uh, been under the spotlight. Uh, and there's been quite a bit of speculation in terms of who's been interested in the bank. Uh, a private equity firm um, has been uh, called upon, Capital Alliance. Could you confirm this for us or is it just speculation at this point in time? I will not be able to confirm uh, because um, the two parties, um, um, the Union Bank Board itself has not um, disclosed formally um, the, uh, the party. Um, I do know the party. Um, the discussions are ongoing. The Union Bank has confirmed that they in exclusive negotiations. Um, I don't think it's going to take a long time and the market will be given information um, as time goes by. There is certainly uh, one firm talking to them. There are reserve bidders. Um, on the sidelines, but I do think they're going to close the deal. Mm. Uh, Governor, also just looking at other preferred bidders and other bidders for the other rescued banks, uh, can you give us information on this? I certainly think that by Friday you should hear at least one more, um, make an announcement, um, and next week we should, look, we should be looking forward to another one or two. Mm. Would you be able to divulge which banks uh, you're alluding to? No, well, um, Friday is tomorrow. Tomorrow, so. okay. So I'm going to wait till then. <laughs> I have to push you on that. Uh, Governor Sanusi, uh, also just looking at the uh, you know, investor confidence that this um, AMCON could bring back into uh, the uh, equity market and to in into the economy as well. We've actually seen some nice gains coming through on the equity front. And there's also a lot of talk about the Nigerian Stock Exchange extending its hours even further. Uh, your view on all these developments and just your overall outlook as we head towards the end of the year. I, I think the important thing is um, we are at a point where we can confidently say that we are, we are on the home stretch as far as the banking um, issues are concerned. Um, all the big banks um, are making rapid progress um, in identifying their bidders and going for negotiations and having broad outlines of deals. Um, Amcon um, board on approval will be able to move immediately to purchase non-performing loans and uh, be ready to um, sponsor the deals. We've had agreement on the valuations. Uh, we have dimensioned the problems. Um, the I think the, any risk um, from the financial system is now minimal. Um, so the, uh, um, it's time really for the confidence to come back. I, I, don't, I don't see, I think that's basically what the market senses. Mm. And as you can see, we're making progress on the legal front. Um, all legal risks have been addressed. We've got a conviction. Uh, we also have a court judgment that clearly stated that we had the right to remove the management. So um, the concerns that people may have had about any legal risk um, are evaporating. Mm. Uh, Governor, also just looking at uh, you know, bidders, uh, here in South Africa we keep talking about the interest when it comes to African banks. Um, have you seen a lot of foreign bidders coming to the fore? Have you seen a lot of uh, foreigners interested in, in Nigerian banking assets? We had a number of um, foreigners as part of this process. Now, whether they're going to come out as preferred bidders or not depends on the evaluation of the bids that they presented vis-a-vis -vis, uh, the competing bids. Uh, some um, of the foreigners are coming as, as part of private equity consortia. Um, some are banks. Um, we won't know until the end of this process how many of them actually end up as preferred bidders. Mm -hmm. There are a number that are talking to banks that are not distressed banks. I'm aware of um, a discussion going on with one of the um, other other, other mid-tier banks that is uh, not uh, one of those affected by the events of August last year. So um, clearly there is some level of engagement um, in the Nigerian banking space. Mm -hmm. uh, I imagine many people are waiting for the conclusion of this exercise. They're waiting to see how this pans out. 
Uh, but by the end of the year, we should see some activity in that area. Mm. Uh, Governor Sunisi, also just touching on the interest of local banks in, in Nigerian assets and Nigerian uh, banking assets. Of course, we're starting to see these third quarter results trickling in and they are looking very good. We're starting to see massive turnarounds, even for some of these rescued banks, which of course in itself is going to start adding quite a lot of confidence back into the market. Um, have you also found that local companies are also willing to start buying out some of these rescued banks? I think that um, a number, and you'll, you'll find when we actually disclose the identities um, of, the, of the bidders that a number of them are, so you've got some local banks as well um, as part of the process. So there has been, um, um, because some of the banks do have a lot of capital and mm -hmm. they were looking for expansion and this is an opportunity. You're, if you recall, many of these banks really had um, no fundamental issues apart from governance and risk. And once we've addressed the risk management and governance issues, the assets in terms of um, the branch network, in terms of technology, in terms of brand, um, the young, um, educated, um, highly driven staff, those are all opportunities for banks that want to pick up um, and build a retail franchise and go for market share. Governor, so the, yeah, please continue. So the outlook is very positive, yes. Fantastic.